There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world Y'all, hey, it's your girl, A. What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? Girl, I always say this, and I keep reminding y'all, saving the best for last. Yes, girl, listen, this is the best of the best. It don't get no better. Like, you know how I have my favorites, okay? Yes, we all have our favorites. It could be a favorite drink. It could be a favorite food. It could be a favorite outfit. I don't know, girl. Just let me know what your favorite thing is. But my favorite is, one of my favorites is Wow African. You just be like, wow. 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 Girl, yes, yes. This wig video is definitely going to be something that's melted, scalped, scalpage. You know, wig is doing what it's supposed to do. Girl, now this, I think this is like the first time for me ever getting a really long curly wig from Wild African. I love all the Wild Africans wigs. They have like, okay, like y'all know I have my favorites, okay? And y'all know this, okay? I think I have now three favorites. Wild African is one of them. I think like Wild Africans hairline be so on point. Like they hairline be so on point you can see like all the dips and curvage it's thinned out girl it's a clean hd hairline clean clean hairline you don't have to do anything it'd be bleached it'd be parted okay girl they did the part in this wig and then when i washed it the part just went away but y'all know i am not perfect with middle parts like whatever but they be having like the best lace ever so girl this one right here is a 20 inch curly okay she's beautiful she's textured curl we have the hd film lace already been bleached for your girl comes with a elastic band that you can remove adjustable straps combs and their signature velvelor backing at the nape girl okay this will make your wig feel comfortable and it will also keep it from buckling too the cap is beautiful i love wild african i don't know about y'all if y'all never gotten a wild african wig then y'all definitely have to try them out they have like some fine ass wigs like they do have some really bomb ass wigs i ain't even gone front okay they surely do they surely surely do they got nice amenities with it girl listen it don't get no better than this we just gonna jump into this girl y'all already know when it was wild african you're gonna be like oh girl yes let me show y'all how y'all wig will come from a wild african once you purchase her okay Alright, alright, so let's just get into this. So this is the part where I customized the unit. As you seen, the wig did come over my ears a little bit, so I just part directly over my ear and I cut that excess lace off. It's definitely not going to destroy the wig. Make sure you properly do it on the opposite side. And girl, now it's time to cut this lace. Now for one, I had to put the magnifying glass on so you can see. The lace is so transparent that girl, you might accidentally cut the hairline. You know how well African do? They make sure you look in your best boo, okay? Now, first of all, the hairline on this wig is impeccable. Like, for real Z, it's definitely what's up. Make sure you clean your hairline before you go and, you know, put your hairspray or your glue on. Now, y'all already know, I like to use Aussie Instant Freeze, but you use what you like to use. Now, this part right here is the second layer. Now, being that I already did a wig video, my head was still a little bit sticky. 
prior, even though I washed it, it still kind of keeps the stickiness, this Aussie Instant Freeze. And now for the third or second layer that I just put on, I decided to put it on wet. This is an easy, easy install. You can do it while it's wet, but make sure you have a blow dryer, a hair dryer on hand. When I adhere the lace while the unit or the hairspray is wet, this gives it a definite melt. Like the lace melts all the way into your flesh. It holds so damn good, girl. When you use a blow dryer and you've applied it wet, this is sticking, like this is going to be stuck, okay? Now sometimes I do miss a little portions of the lace and I just take my little comb right here, spray a little hairspray and tack it down. Now this is optional, it's definitely optional with a, wow, African wig, okay? You don't have to put any sideburns, but I like it to look as natural, baby. And I do like sideburns because it kind of takes away from my longevity head, okay? Now, if y'all see this hairline, do you see how nice and clean it is? That means it was already pre-plucked for you. You don't have to do nothing but just put the wig on. Now, to mold and sculpt my hairs, I love to use my Mark Anthony styling foam. It does say it's for curly hair, but girl, please do not put this in a full amount of any type of curly hair because it weighs the hair down and kind of makes it sticky feeling. So I just use it to sculpt. Now it's not going to stick to your head, but it will allow the hairs to sculpt freely. Then I just put on my elastic bands right here. These are little ear cuffs on the side that came with the elastic band just to protect your ear. They look like makeup, a puff. Now in my bottle of water is some conditioner. And I'm gonna just bring this, these curls back to life. So I started spraying with my water conditioner just to kind of like saturate the wig. It doesn't have to be soaking wet, but give it enough water to where it's damp enough. And then I follow through with my, my, my Nairobi styling foam. I first like to rub my fingers through it. Then I will go in with my detangling brush, which I think is absolutely a must with any type of curly hair. Do you see how defined these juicy curls are? Girl, look at this hair. This is some beautiful textured curly hair. I absolutely recommend this unit. As you see, I'm just gonna go and do the same thing on the opposite side. Make sure you check out Wild African. They have plenty of units and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be having a Black Friday sale, so make sure you check them out. This one is a definite. I love the way they create their hairline. Now, as you see right here, I'm just going to be using my blow dryer and um, it's not on a cool heat, it's on the hot, as you can tell by the Back portion of the hair dryer, it has like a red colored temperature. That means it's on hot, so it was burning. But I was just trying to flatten the top down, so I did use some of my Nairobi just to make sure that the part, part was more visible. And I'm gonna follow through with my Shop Miss A um, foundation. I do use an angled makeup brush for this process. Makes it a lot easier when the brush is angled. And if you do find yourself with some type of foundation or concealer on a hair, girl, just grab you a wet rag, a baby wipe, and it will easily come off. Now it's time to reveal this baby, okay? Look at that hairline. She is gorgeous. I'm loving how she looks. I definitely have to go ahead and fix my hairs. I don't want them pasted down. I just kind of want them loose. So that way they look like flyaways. And then I just take some more of that sculpting foam or that styling foam by Mark Anthony and I just brush it. It will definitely help your edges and it'll make it look a lot more natural when you're using some type of styling foam. And it's time to spruce up my makeup because you know I did clean my hairline off prior to this install. Look how lovely these curls are. Now I wanted to go ahead and add a little bit more water to the ends so I did do that off camera and then I decided to use my curl diffuser. Girl, I'm still trying to figure out how to use these. I think I'm using it properly and it was a little hot because I did have it on the high heat. Yeah, I do tell you guys not to use a high heat and then I don't follow through with my own words of wisdom, but you know how it goes. These are some juicy curls. This is a nicely textured unit. It's not silky curls, but it's very textured. 
And if you play around in it, it will get a lot more fuller. But I think she's doing what she's supposed to do, girl. Look at those edges. Where's the lace? Do you see the lace? No, not at all. Now this right here is the part where I just lift up the roots. That's what I'm doing with my hands. I'm just lifting the hair up from the inside so that way the, it just looks more fuller at the top without messing with the whole entire hair. You know, over time you figure out how to do certain things. And now I'm just wanting to show you guys the things that you can do with this unit. Even if it's a 13 by six and because the hairline looks so natural, you can put some braids in it if you like. Now, trust me, this is some nice textured hair, as you can tell. These are some tight braids. You can always put two cornrows in the front if you want and pull it back. I think that looks so damn cute. But I decided to put some twist in it just to make it easier because it's very, very textured. And I did go back in and saturate the ends just so that way it's not too puffy because I was playing around in it. But girl, check the description box. Y'all gonna love this wig if you decide to get it. You know the holidays is coming up, so you gotta look extra, extra cute around the holidays. Okay, baby? Do it like it's your be day. That's it, you guys. This wig is done. Look, while African came through, she nice and full. Look at the size. Like, the hairline look bomb as hell, okay? You could pin her up. There's a lot of hair. If you keep messing with it and finger combing it, it will get bigger and bigger. It will get fuller and fuller. And I don't want to be Shaka Khan today, so I I went ahead and pinned the sides, but I think the best solution would be with some water with conditioner in it and one of your styling foams. I've been using Nairobi. You can also use a lot of body and just brush through it with a really good brush. Not just any old brush, girl. Get you one of these so it could define the curls. This wig definitely is a nice wig. I like the texture of the curls. These curls have texture. Listen, wow, African always be doing a thing. That's why they call wow African, okay? Because you just be like, wow. Like, seriously, wow. Do it like it's your be day, okay? Let me know what you think about this unit. So I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, like it, share it. You know, leave your comments below. I love you guys. I will see y'all in the next video.